Okay, so today I am making a flipper for my eggs in my incubator. I'm just kind of brainstorming here, but essentially I'm just gonna make a little cage out of this wire and some scraps. So let's see what I come up with, see how it goes. So the measurement I used for this wire after I did some figuring and trying to place the egg in there was four and a quarter inches wide. And the length of it is just based on the size that I have in my freezer, which is my incubator. So the four and a quarter wide seems to wrap around the egg enough to where I could still get it out of there, but it's, it's secure in there enough to where when I'm flipping it, I'm not having to mess with uh, it falling out or anything like that. So four and a quarter is what I did that. These are 20 inches long because of the size of the freezer. And I cut these boards just a little bit longer to make room for my end cap pieces. But yeah, this is coming along, putting these things together real quick. So here are the end pieces that I made. They're two inches wide by two and a half inches tall. And I just based that on the size of eggs that I'm going to be using here, but you can, you know, that'll vary depending on what breed of egg or, you know, what chicken you've got. But anyway, uh, hindsight, you see where I have that nail sticking through this uh, end cap. It's pretty low, which means when these things are full of eggs, the weight kind of, you know, would almost slam side to side a little bit more than if I would have drilled that hole a little bit higher and put that pivot point more towards the center of this end cap. So if I build another one, that's definitely something I'll change up a little bit, making that pivot point more in the center of the egg. That way the weight is not throwing it side to side when I'm trying to do my flipping. But the basic idea still works and uh, these eggs sit in there real nice without wanting to fall out. So couldn't ask for a better size on this. All right, so here they are. I made these things about 20 inches long and that gives it room for 12 eggs to fit, you know, side by side with just a little bit of wiggle room. That way they're not, you know, falling over or leaning to the side too much. If you got small eggs in there, you might have a little bit of leaning, but 20 inches is what I went with. Here's this bottom rack. And uh, you'll see in a second here when I get this thing all put together, but I'm gonna have a rack, a rail on the bottom and a rail on the top, just like you see here. And this thing is flipping smooth. Again, you know, with the weight of the eggs, it is not flipping quite as easily um, because of that bottom nail being so low, but man, I couldn't be happier with the time this thing has saved me already. It's taken me two or three seconds rather than two or three minutes to flip all these eggs. So this has been pretty sweet. So if you watched part one of the incubator build, you knew this video was coming. I had 84 eggs in there that I was flipping by hand every day. And that was just not gonna fly. Also, this was just too much fun to build, so it had to happen. Anyway, this thing is super smooth and, well, it's it's pretty smooth. Like I said earlier, it could be a little bit smoother, but here I have it set up in the freezer and I'm flipping these things with one hand, or well, not freezer, incubator, no problem, and I couldn't be happier, but thanks again for following along. This will be, uh, I guess, part two of the series, just a little short video on this flipper. And then part three, we'll see some candling and some hatching of little baby chicks. So see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching.